Hello, welcome to this review of Nikolai Premium Vodka with premium liqueur. 80 proof. Nikolai was introduced in 1980. I'm sorry, it's 80 proof. Introduced in 1941 by the Joseph Seagram's Distilling Company at the time, up until the year 2000, the world's largest distilling company, who went out of business in the year 2000. Um, this was sold to the Sazerac Company in 1989. They bought a bunch of brands from them. I think this and 14, 13 other brands. Uh, I think it was only in the last probably six years that Sazerac started adding premium liqueur to this. And I saw that uh, Skull Vodka is now saying vodka with natural flavors. So hmm. they told me on the phone all their low-end products, they started adding flavor into them. And I said, why? And the man said, I think to smooth it out. That's what the representative told me. He said, I don't know what they're adding though. He said he suspected it was vanilla often. The wind is shaking and everything. Here comes the CP Casey Railroad. So it's got that double headed eagle thing going, which represents the, the Roman Empire. And the bird has uh, wheat in one claw and a document in the other, which is probably the recipe for the product. It's got three crowns, which I'll explain later. Sazerac. So Buffalo Trace is in Frankfort, Kentucky, all right? Not Nikolai Company. That should be enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use this product for my mix-up series, mix-up. Different products mixed with this vodka product, okay? And that should last many years, that bottle. Oh, and by the way, the price, $8.99. That's the normal price at Total Wine & More, $8.99. <laughs> Not the cheapest handle of liquor they had. I saw Taro Gold Rum, Taro Gold Rum for $7.49 for the handle. Yes. Okay. I think I saw Nikolai one time about seven years ago, six, seven years ago at International Market. And uh may not have been that long ago. And it was five ninety nine, I think, for the handle, yeah. But that didn't last, of course. Okay, so it's clear, you know, like vodka's supposed to be. The aroma. Uh, now, Kentucky Brew, Kentucky KY, Kentucky Brew Review did this review, but it was years ago, a good number of years ago. So I don't think they had the one that was with the natural flavors at it. And they had a um, 750 milliliter bottle, which they got for 4.99. And I remember when a lot of Sazerac lower end brands were 4.99 at Albertsons. Yes. $4.99. Now they said it smelled like hairspray. I oh, know that was another guy saying that. Um, Darwin Kegger. He was saying uh, smell like hairspray. I think I think it was him that said that. Um, Maybe. Uh, all right. It's a strong grain alcohol burn. I'm sure they might probably 100% corn. I think they get their grain spirits from Midwest grain products of Indiana. I'm not sure Sazerac Buffalo Trace does their own grain distill, just grain distillate. I know Barton does. That's owned by Sazerac. Barton 1792 Distillery. The girl told me, uh, yeah, she said we make a lot of Crystal Palace at this, at this place. I said Crystal Palace. Yeah. 
that's a gin and a vodka. I said, gin is the blue label, the vodka is the red label. I said, do you get your, she said, we don't make it here though. We don't make it anymore here. She said, vodka still is, that column still is out of use. It was just an old one she was showing me. I said, do you buy your, your uh, grain spirits from uh, Midwest Grain Products, MGP? She said, yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't smell bad. It's just strong, you know, a strong vodka. Uh, uh, this vodka is supposed to be odorless and colorless, but this... Yeah, maybe it's like a citrus liqueur or something. I know at Walmart they've got Calibre vodka. But the yellow label, it says Calibre Citrus Vodka. And I think there's a red label that's Calibre Regular Vodka. I gotta check that out next time I go to Walmart's liquor section. Alright, let's go with the... So maybe it's some kind of orange liqueur they had. I don't know what it is, but it's, it, it's got too much aroma to be pure vodka, right? It's, but it's not a bad aroma, honestly. Let's go with the taste at room temperature here. 85 degree angle for the sun and um, shoot, uh, might be 87 degree angle and it's going to be up around 83 today. Honestly, it tastes like a vanilla. Maybe that guy's right. Maybe they're just adding vanilla to all their products. Vanilla extract. But it didn't say vanilla. It said, it didn't say natural flavor. It said premium liqueur. It's definitely got a vanilla taste, like vanilla. Frosting. Or icing, as people say, icing or cake, cake icing or cake frosting. Uh, might screw up my mix up a little bit, my mix ups, because it's gonna um, not be neutral. But uh, oh well, people mix rum with all kind of soft drinks, whiskey, and those aren't neutral flavors either. So I guess it doesn't matter. The mix-ups don't really matter. It'd just be something fun to look at. Look at some obscure soft drinks. You get the alcohol burn, yeah, but it's not too harsh. It's not harsh. So, um, I thought this was going to be a low, low, low score. I just figured $8.99 a handle this is going to be the worst. And before they added the flavor, and it might have been the flavored look. The look, well, look, all liqueur is flavored. I don't know what this is. Um, before they added that, basically a flavoring agent to it, it might have tasted nasty. But now it's got a little character, you know, it's a little character. So, I guess not a true vodka, but a distilled spirit specialty. Which is allowed because the stores are full of them and uh, no one seems to mind. And they don't put them in a, their own separate section. They stick them right there in the vodka section or the whiskey, bourbon whiskey section or the whatever section they're going to put it. So, um, I'm going to go with a 90. <laughs> Seems crazy, right? But I'm going to go with a 90. 9 out of 10, a 90. And when I did the mix-up with the <laughs> Tahitian treat, it scored at a 90. Oh, the Tahitian treat was a 90, yeah. yeah. This, this, I didn't find enhanced that, but it didn't detract from it, so it was still a 90. Yeah, yeah. Well, you never know, I guess, so. Never know what you can get for 8 .99. So, laissez les bon temps relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Frankfort, Kentucky, and take a Buffalo Trace tour.